I found 13 of the best remote jobs for beginners in 2024, and I can almost guarantee that you haven't heard of most of these. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by cheersing the like button, and let's jump into it right now. All right, so number one is probably one that you've never heard of before, and that's going to be a remote theme park specialist. That's right, imagine a job that lets you explore the world of theme parks all from the comfort of your home. And in this position, you are gonna research exclusive amusement park deals, help clients select suitable theme parks, handle ticket bookings, provide exceptional customer service, and keep updated on industry trends and attractions. That's right, in some cases, you are going to actually have to go to these theme parks and experience them in order to give the best service. It's a hard job, but somebody's gotta do it. And by the way, a cool random fact is the oldest theme park actually dates back to the 16th century. Now there's websites that call it by this exact name. For instance, theme park specialist is a role at the company Travel Brilliant. However, this could be referred to as a recreation coordinator or several other names. And recreation coordinators make 41 to $64,000 a year. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. Also, this is one where you don't need to have a college degree or previous experience. So it's relatively easy to get into. So overall, this is great for beginners. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 total opportunity score. Next is going to be a Twitch chat agent. Yes, this is a position where you are going to be a live chat assistant on the website Twitch. And if you're not familiar with Twitch, basically it's a website where people live stream and there's a community component to it because you can talk directly with your chat. And typically they're either going to be live streaming games or in some cases news. And yes, this is actually a job that you can get. I know it's surprising. Here's one job posting by Hire Social. They pay about $30 an hour. It's a work from home job and there's no degree requirements. Here's another posting that says you get paid about $25 to $35 an hour and beginners are welcome. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So I guess the big thing with this one is you probably want to be somebody who actually uses Twitch just so you're familiar with it. But other than that, there's pretty much no other things that you have to have. You don't need a college degree or previous experience and it's relatively easy to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below if you like any of these careers and you want to hear more about them or if there's another career that you want me to cover there's a good chance I'll see it and I'll cover it in the future next is going to be a news staff team researcher and this is a position where you're going to be working for some sort of news corporation it might be a newspaper or a magazine or an online publisher and you're going to be gathering verifying and organizing information and data for news stories and assisting journalists in their reporting process and companies that typically hire for this role are going to be news organizations media companies and and broadcasting networks. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And typically they're gonna start you off at a salary around 38 to $40,000 a year. So this is another one that is relatively easy to get into. In some cases, they may require a college degree. Oftentimes they don't really care about which degree you have though. And they typically do not require previous experience. So it's an interesting one. And depending on what type of news company you work for, it could be really lucrative. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an entry-level tech sales development representative. So this may also be referred to as a BDR or an SDR, and that stands for business development representative or sales development representative. And basically this is the entry-level role when you're trying to get into what's known as tech sales. And tech sales is amazing because you combine one of the most valuable skills you could possibly have, which is sales, with arguably the best industry you could work in, which is technology. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. And SDRs make about 63 to 90 $95,000 a year. Yes, that is an entry level job that doesn't require previous experience or a college degree where you can make $63,000 to $95,000 a year. And that's just the entry level job. There's like 10 other jobs that you can move into after you get some experience that pay much higher than that. For instance, I interviewed on this channel Antoine Wade, who makes over $500,000 a year in tech sales. And he recommends using a company called Course Careers to get your first tech sales job. And Course Careers does have a free training on exactly what tech sales is and if it's a good fit for you. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So this one is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Although sales isn't for everybody. However, this is one of the more chill types of sales jobs because it's B2B sales. And so you're more focused on forming long-term relationships with companies. Next is going to be an AI prompt writer. And this is a career that is absolutely blowing up in the last few years. And this is where you use AI such as ChatGPT or Bard or Midjourney 
or any number of the other AI softwares that are coming out in order to create prompts. And these prompts can be used to streamline and automate operations within a business. Now there's many different ways you can do this. You can work directly in a business by getting hired by them. You could be a freelancer that works for different businesses. You could also start your own agency and you kind of just go into a business and you fix their operations, or you can just make prompts and then sell them. And there's websites such as PromptBase where people are actually doing this right now and making a ton of money. And if you don't think that prompt engineers can make a lot of money, well, <laughs> I've got some news for you. There's AI prompt engineers earning $300,000 salaries. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, this is a new career, so it's not really established right now. There's some people get hired for like $24 an hour. Others are getting hired for over $100 an hour. But yeah, this one definitely has a lot of opportunity and a lot of promise. I don't think this one is going away. I think it's only going to get bigger in the future as companies start to embrace AI more and more. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a content marketing associate. And content marketing is basically where brands and big businesses use social media in order to create content. And that content is designed to establish their brand and market their products or services. And basically any type of business out there is starting to do this. And there's lots of different companies that hire for this type of position all the way from tech startups to e-commerce businesses, digital marketing agencies, and content marketing agencies. And an interesting fact here is one type of content, which is email marketing. It's been shown that for every $1 spent on email marketing, they make $38 back. So that's a 38x ROI for every $1 spent. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. Now, content marketing associates make about $49 to $72,000 a year. And there's many ways to make money from this. Obviously, you can get hired in a job. You can also do it as a freelancer, or you could start your own business. Or instead of making other people's content, you could just start a personal brand and start making your own content. That's what I did, and I've talked about it on this channel before, but I make over six figures a month on YouTube alone. And I've always had people reaching out to me for coaching and once in a while I would accept a client and I've actually managed to help a bunch of different people grow their YouTube channels and some of them have even surpassed me and are making multiple six figures per month. So I do accept a few people per month into my YouTube coaching program and if that's something you're interested in go ahead and click the link that I leave down in the description as well as the pinned comment below but I will say I only accept people who are very serious about having success on YouTube and I'll only accept you if I think that I can get you results. But yeah this one is great. Any type of content marketing is absolutely amazing. You see people People like the All In podcast, which is basically four billionaires who just, you know, get together and start talking about stuff. They are making content, right? If billionaires are making content, that's when you know it's an incredible opportunity because billionaires are incredibly careful with their time. So yeah, this one is amazing. It's just a good skill set to learn in general. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a technical support assistant. And this is kind of like a customer service position, but you're going to be helping people with technical problems. So usually it's going to be technology related and you may be taking calls from customers, or in some cases, you might be taking calls from fellow employees. And in this position, you make about $44,000 to $65,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And the greatest thing about this one is you absolutely do not have to have a college degree or previous experience, and it's very, very easy to get into. I've actually talked about on this channel how we've helped people get jobs in literally seven days in this position. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a search quality rater. And this is somebody who basically works with what's known as search engines, such as YouTube or Google. And they basically rate the quality of the search queries and what is actually output. So when you search something in a search engine, hopefully you're able to find what you're looking for if the search engine is doing its job. And the algorithms are really good, but they still need some human input. And that's where the search quality rater comes in. They're always looking for ways to improve the quality of the input and output of a search engine. And search quality evaluators make about $44,000 to $73,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. But yeah, this one is pretty good. Typically, it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And by the way, I do get this comment once in a while, so I like to address it every once in a while. If you see a position and it's an entry-level position, but they say that they require experience, just apply anyways. Usually, it does not matter. It's more of a wish list type of thing, and it's used to weed out people who think that they can't do the job. So if you think you can learn the job and do it, which 
you absolutely can, then go ahead and apply anyways. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a lead list builder or a lead generation specialist. And this is someone who's basically sourcing potential buyers of a product or service. So you basically will research the internet, for instance, and you find people who look like they could potentially be good buyers. Then you make a list of them, you figure out how you can contact them, and that's when they become a lead. Then you would pass that list on to the people who would actually reach out to them. And it's very important that you have people who are good at curating these lists. Because if you just make a list of a bunch of random people, that means your sales team is going to be wasting like 90% of their time. So as you can see, a good lead generation specialist versus a bad one could literally 10x somebody's business. And that's why people in this position make 65 to $120,000 a year. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. Now you definitely do not need a college degree. However, some companies will prefer or even require previous experience. It really just depends on the company. You can find free or very affordable online courses on places like Coursera or LinkedIn. This is also a really good one if you want to become a freelancer or you want to start your own business. So yeah, this one is great. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a presentation designer. And this is a person who is responsible for creating visually captivating designs and engaging presentations. And these are designed to effectively convey information and captivate audiences. Now, typically, these types of positions are going to be hired for either sales type roles, marketing type roles, or in some cases, creating pitch decks. And pitch decks are basically where you're asking somebody to invest money into your company. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, you can get hired for this in a job. There's also a lot of freelancing opportunities on websites like Upwork. You see these people charging $50 an hour and $40 an hour, for instance. Now, this is one where you definitely want to specialize in a particular industry because when you're making these presentations, you basically need to convey that you're an expert on whatever subject you're talking about. And the only way to be an expert is to focus on one industry or one niche. So this one's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be one that's really easy to get into, and that's going to be a chat specialist. So this is basically a customer service type role, but instead of talking to people on the phone, you're going to be chatting with them over Messenger. And there are a ton of companies that are hiring for this role. This is becoming the most popular form of customer service because people are so tired of having to call in. And a lot of the time, people just want a very small thing fixed, and it doesn't really require a call. And chat specialists make $37,000 to $57,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. So obviously not the most glamorous type of job, probably not something you want to do forever, but it is a really easy job to land. Definitely does not require a college degree or previous experience. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a medical records specialist. Now there's a bunch of these different medical related careers. Honestly, I could make like entire videos about this just with medical careers alone. And they usually pay pretty well. They're really easy to get into. They don't require a college degree or previous experience in most cases, and they're extremely stable. Plus, there's lots of opportunities for remote jobs. And basically, medical records specialists are responsible for accurately maintaining and organizing patients' medical records and health information in healthcare facilities while ensuring confidentiality and accessibility. So if you know anything about the healthcare industry, uh, keeping medical records secure and keeping the patient information confidential is incredibly important. There are companies that have been sued for millions and millions of dollars for messing this up. And there's lots of different types of companies that hire for this position. Just to name a few, hospitals, clinics, medical practices, nursing homes, and healthcare consulting firms. And you're kind of like a librarian, but instead of books, you're gonna be categorizing medical information. And medical record specialists make about 37 to $53,000 a year. And this is one that is very easy to land. It doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Sometimes it may require some training, but usually the company will actually provide that for you. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. So yeah, super solid one. Um, probably not something you want to do forever, but it's especially good if you want to actually get into the medical industry. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote inventory specialist. And this is someone who's going to be overseeing and optimizing inventory levels for various industries remotely. And they're going to be leveraging software tools to track stock, conduct audits, and ensure a smooth supply chain, which makes them indispensable for industries such as e-commerce, retail, 
and logistics. So you're probably thinking, wow, it should be really easy to keep inventory, right? Well, it's actually a lot easier said than done. You know, the world saw very recently that, you know, the supply chain is not just something that's always gonna be there. Sometimes it does break down. And not only do you wanna make sure that you have enough inventory for stuff that your clients want to buy, but on top of that, you also wanna make sure that you don't have too much. Because if you have too much, then you're gonna have to pay for storage and that really eats into the company's profits. So there's lots of different inventory and logistics related jobs that are very important. And this job pays around $37,000 to $53,000 a year. Now, typically, it doesn't require a college degree. Once in a while, it will require a college degree, but they usually don't care which degree it is. And usually, it doesn't require any previous experience. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did have a video go completely viral, and that was the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.